Hi all folks, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at Hydrogen OS Pi Beta running on my OnePlus 5T and the OnePlus 5. You can install this without root. Also, you can go ahead and switch from Oxygen OS to Hydrogen OS if you want to try Pi right now, which is what I did. Um, works near flawless. Let's go ahead and take a look. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and use the 5T since the 5, it's pretty much the exact same software. The only difference is that um, you will get the new gesture controls only on the 5T. Now, let me go ahead and show you the settings about phone. You'll find Hydrogen OS, alright, H-T-O-S. Um, you'll see the beta. Android version 9, alright, so you can see it's running Pi. You can actually get the Easter egg, but this one doesn't have it for some reason. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you the gestures first. Um, since that's what I'm doing. To go home, you'll simply have to swipe up from the bottom center. And back buttons are basically on the left and right. So let's say I go to browser and go to news. And I won't hit the back button, just swipe up. Oops, swipe up. Alright, and also swipe from the left. You can also go back this way. Alright, back button, home button. Back button, home button. For gesture controls, also you could do, um, if you want to switch apps, go ahead and hold down and you can go ahead and switch, switch, switch. Now if you want to go um, switch faster, you can go ahead and hold up and just go sideways like that. And if you do it fast, oops, you can do it fast like that. So just swipe up to the right and you can sw quickly switch. It's a little bit longer, right? But that's the new gesture controls. It's not bad actually. I actually kind of like it. You can find all of that in buttons and gestures and go into navigation bar and gestures. So that's the new gestures, which will tell you about it. Um, you can also get the new pixel three gestures, which is basically um, you get the two buttons and if you can swipe up from the bottom to switch, switch apps. Also, you can swipe to the right real quick to switch between two apps. All right, this is the pixel method. Um, also, you can do the regular navigation there. All right, so that's sort of the biggest change um, with Pi. And of course, you get all the new Pi stuff. Um, you also get the volume controls from Pi. Um, you can go straight into the sound menu where you can go ahead and adjust everything. And also, um, you get audio tuner, which is part of the beta on Oreo also, but you'll get it with Pi, which is nice, right? That's kind of nice. Now, another great thing with installing the Pi on the 5T or the 5, I was able to install the Pixel 3 camera with Night Sight working for the 5T and the 5. So I simply just install the same APK. And now I can do um, Night Sight also which is really nice and boom shot Nice Nightside also is supposed to really help during the uh, daylight also it's still processing so that's the normal night sight but yeah being able to use um, night sight and also pixel 3 google camera is awesome because it makes your camera so much better all right and also you'll have raw jpeg all that good stuff. Of course, your regular camera is working fine. You won't get Nightscape. Now, with the Pixel 3 camera working, you don't need the Nightscape because Nightside is like 10 times better. I've already done comparisons. And uh, all of the standard Pi features you'll get with this. There's some extras with the system. If you go into um, system and enable developer options by, whole, um, by tapping the build number a bunch of times until so it says uh, you're a developer, then you can go into system and then you can go into developer options and you can go ahead and enable um, stuff like advanced reboot, which will give you additional options, um, such as you can go to the re recovery bootloader. That's really nice. All right, I'm not sure if this is new recent app management. Um, you can do a deep clear. Also utilities, um, app locker, OnePlus switch, display, um, screen calibration, you'll get the same calibration just like the OnePlus 6T. All right, also you can change your t theme to dark, which is really nice. This is gonna save you battery life on AMOLED screens. All right, I would leave it at that all the time. That's real nice. Obviously, Oxygen OS Pi Beta should be coming soon, but if you can't wait, you can go ahead and install this. And I've actually converted my Oxygen OS on my OnePlus phones to Hydrogen many times and they work nearly flawless. Now the only thing is you'll get a lot of these extra Chinese apps which you can go ahead and simply uninstall. Alright, just go ahead and uninstall. Now for installation, um, you don't need root. 
You don't need to unlock your bootloader or anything. You can go ahead and use a system. Um, you can use a system update. I'll go ahead and show you real quick. So let me go ahead and reinstall Hydrogen OS. This install guide is for those of you who need Play Store and who are coming from uh, Oxygen OS. Let me go ahead and reinstall Oxygen OS. Hi guys, before you do this, um, if you're watching this in the future, if there is no Pi Beta ROM for Oxygen OS, you're not going to be able to go back to uh, Oxygen OS until the Pi Beta is available. Once it's available, then you can go ahead and download the Pi Beta for Oxygen OS and then install on top of it and switch back to Oxygen OS. All right, just know that once you switch to Hydrogen OS, you're pretty much stuck with it until OnePlus comes out with the official Pi for Oxygen OS also. And also things can go wrong and I'm not going to be responsible for anything. So back up everything just in case something goes wrong or you make a mistake. But I've actually tested this a bunch of times and it works flawless. Um, so first thing you'll have to do is uh, be on Oxygen OS and make sure you're signed into Google Play Store and also make sure you have set up your fingerprint and face unlock. All right, um, do all those things and make sure you signed into Google Play Store. Otherwise, um, you won't get Play Store when you flash over Hydrogen OS. Um, so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and download um, the OnePlus 5T Hydrogen. Um, this is the Pi Beta ROM for the 5T. Or if you have the 5, download it to the 5. Now, once you download it, it'll be in your download folder. So you open up your file manager. And what you're going to do is move this file. Go ahead and cut. All right, and you're going to go to your internal storage and paste. All right, operation completed. The reason is that uh, when you flash system firmware using the system, you'll have to put it into the root directory. All right. Next, all we're going to do is go ahead and use the settings and go into system updates. And we're going to go ahead and use the local upgrade. And we're going to go ahead and choose the hydrogen uh, firmware you copied over to the internal storage. All right, the root of the internal storage. Go ahead and confirm. And when it's done, reboot, you should be on the latest Pi Beta. Now, you don't need to root your phone or install Twerp, any of that. You can go ahead and just use a system update. The beauty of OnePlus products is that you can flash system firmers right from the system. Now, you can't go back to the Oxygen because it's an Oreo. But when the Pi Beta version comes out, you'll be able to um, go back to Oxygen. All right, but um, in my testing, everything pretty much worked. Um, so you should have no problem using it. The only problem you'll have use um, with it. Oh, it's rebooting. All right, so you'd install rebooting. The only problem I had was all of this bloatware, which you can go ahead and remove. Um, all the Chinese app you don't use. The only thing I wasn't able to move is the Chinese market. You could just leave that on there, or you could also disable it. Um, but otherwise, you can go ahead and uninstall everything. But you can see it's um, updating my OnePlus 5. It's converting from Oxygen OS to Hydrogen OS. Now you can do this pretty much on all OnePlus phones. I've actually flashed from Oxygen to Hydrogen, Hydrogen to Oxygen, um, back and forth, and you'll be fine, all right? You just can't dong downgrade. You can't go to the Pi and then go to the Oreo because the system won't let you. Um, or you can also use the system recovery um, the actual system recovery to do it um, but you'll get errors so yeah so long as um, you're not downgrading you can do this all day long and you should have no problem another hidden feature of uh, oneplus products all right almost done with the updates and we should have a fully working pi beta hydrogen os on our oneplus 5t and yeah that's pretty much it Real simple, just download. You can do this all on your phone, which is the beauty of OnePlus. I really love how they built in the system uh, updates to the menu. And you'll see it's, now it's a hydrogen uh, OS H2O. And... Boom shakalaka. All right, give it a few seconds for system to sort of settle down. All right, your Play Store should be working just fine. All of your apps should be there. You'll have these extra apps now um, that, again, you can just go ahead and uninstall all these extra Chinese apps you don't need. Your Play Store working. I'm um, going to settings, system, uh, about phone, sorry. You should be on Android 9. And boom shakalaka. Go ahead and enjoy Android Pi. Now you've fully converted your Oxygen OS to Hydrogen OS and enjoy Pi Beta. And you can go ahead and download the APK file. I'll have the link in the tutorial um, if you want to install the pixel 3 camera and now you don't have to wait for oxygen os it's pretty much the same thing i've checked out um hydrogen os oxygen os the only real difference is just the bloatware the market but yeah this way you can go ahead and enjoy it now all right everything working flawless again make a backup of everything just in case something goes wrong 
Like I said, I've tested this uh, hundreds of times, but you can make a mistake and mess it up. And if you want to switch back to Auction OS when it comes out, um, go back to System Updates, download the Pi Beta uh, for Auction OS, put it in your root directory like I showed you, install it from local grade, and boom, you'll be back to Auction OS. Hit the thumbs up for me. Have a great day, folks. And as always, stay on Android.